Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a DIY for you. It is going to be fast and really easy to do. It's going to be using these frames from the Dollar Tree. I picked up three of these 5x7 frames from the Dollar Tree and I picked up six of these 4x6 frames from Dollar Tree. As you guys can see, look at how pretty these frames are. I will say they are very thin and not heavy at all. So they're, they're not real wood, it's fake wood. Um, I don't know the material you would call, maybe plastic, I don't know. Uh, but what you're gonna do, you're gonna open up your frames, obviously. Then you're gonna arrange them however you want. See, I, I have mine kind of like this. And I was gonna do my all my pictures black and white, but some of them are, some of them are colored. All right, so there's the frame. So I'm not going to remove the little stand in the back. I'm just going to leave it on there. If it, if it gets in the way, then I'll take it off. But I'm just going to go ahead and add my pictures. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put them all together how I want them. I'm going to flip them over like this. And then I'm going to use some of this Gorilla Glue for the hot glue gun. And I'm going to glue them all together, but I want to make sure that they're secure. So I'm also, I'm not sure. I have popsicle sticks. I have these right here. I don't know if I'm going to use this size, but I have different size popsicle sticks. And what I'm thinking is using this to kind of glue this on the back, touching the other frame to kind of give it some kind of stability. Oh, and yeah, your supplies are going to be obviously the, the frames, as many frames as you want. A glue gun, Gorilla Glue, I recommend this, this is pretty sturdy Gorilla Glue, you can get this at any craft store, and popsicle sticks, and let's just get started with this DIY. So I was gluing them with the face down, but I decided that it's better to glue them with your pictures side up, so that way you could see where you want to place them and how you want to place them. Um, and you could see if glue is starting to seep through through the seams and that way you can kind of touch it up as best as you can. When I'm done gluing all of them, I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to use these small little, the smallest um, popsicle sticks to glue to the back of the frames. Now I'm not going to touch the part where you put the picture in just in case I ever want to change the picture. It's actually going to be on the side here like this touching the other side. So I have these two frames here like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this little stick right here and right here. So it's going to get glued right there like this. And it'll kind of give it some what of a stability. E6000 glue. I didn't have any uh, to glue this together, but this is how I'm doing it. And so I'm just going to continue to glue these. So I have some of this rope that I have picked up at Dollar Tree as well. You can actually go around if you wanted to hide those seams and just do something like that. 
you can do something like that to make it look really rustic wanted to show you something really quickly so I wasn't paying attention when I glued all my frames together I don't know why I wasn't paying attention I was I don't know but anyway I glued these two blue together this one was supposed to be on this side and this one was supposed to be on this side so I was trying to um, I was trying to not have colors touching but if you can see this one touches this one touches and then this one touches here so they're all yeah not how I wanted it okay you guys so let me tell you what happened so I was telling you guys that I had messed up my frames the colors so what I did is I took it all apart and let me tell you it was difficult because once you use the glue it is so hard to take these frames apart so um, I kind of screwed them up a little here and there but you can't really tell because I did try to fix my mistakes and um, but you can tell up here let me show you guys see right there where the frame came up and how that looks all right here pretty bad but I was able to fix my mistake and actually I rearranged the way I did the my um, my setup here so I just went ahead and I did it this way of course I did the alternate colors this one I kind of did some dry brush white dry brushing here and that's how this came out I like it now the back I didn't end up adding those popsicle sticks I just went ahead and I glued these frames together really well and I went over it a couple times I let it dry and then I went over it again and that's how I ended up securing it so they're not going anywhere um, I ended up taking off all the little stands and you just grab the whole thing and pull it off and it comes off so I was able to take off that metal, metal piece with it as well um, I'm going to use these clips to hang it up and that's what it looks like in the back so I'm going to go ahead and have hubby put this on my gallery wall that I'm working on and then I'll show you what it looks like so this is what the collage came out to look like I had hubby hang it up for me in my entryway here and I didn't need those popsicle sticks because it was pretty sturdy without them so I like the way it looks I wanted to add this sign to the top of it but it won't it's too thick and these frames are really thin and I also wanted to add this on there but uh, again this is too thick you guys can see too wide and this is too thin right here so um, I'm not done yet with this wall we're still gonna add more to it but I like the way it came out it looks so nice and now I wish I would have dry brushed some more white on the others even on some of these here on this darker one here I may do that but I like the way this came out this looks really 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 nice I love it and I was thinking of putting that rope for trim around here but I think I like it just like that so this is a really easy DIY really fast DIY and very affordable so I hope you guys like this tutorial and you guys give this a try and as always thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video